When it comes to enjoying a hot beverage, temperature is key. No one likes lukewarm coffee or tea, so thermal cups and mugs are essential. These vessels are designed to keep drinks hot for extended periods, ensuring each sip is as satisfying as the first. Whether it's your morning coffee or afternoon tea, thermal cups have become a daily necessity. They maintain both hot and cold temperatures regardless of weather conditions. But have you ever wondered how these miracle cups are made? From computer-aided designs to assembly of inner component shells, let's explore the step-by-step -step making of insulated cups. These cups are the ingenious work of engineering and precision craftsmanship, with over 100 million insulated cups produced worldwide each year. It's astonishing to consider the intricate process behind every one. From conceptual design to final product, the journey of a thermal cup involves innovative materials, advanced machinery, and strict quality control. Insulated cups have become a staple in modern everyday life. From athletes to students to bankers, they have worked wonders. So much so that when Stanley's 40-ounce Quencher Cup got into the market, it gained rapid popularity on social media. These new fancy and effective cups took Stanley's annual sales from $75 million to a whole new level, raking in $750 million in 2023 alone. They are not only highly durable, but insulated, safe, and easy to drink from as well, oozing a certain level in class. The steps to creating the insulated cups can be considered thermodynamic magic, which begins with a crucial step, tooling and mold making. This initial phase lays the groundwork for the entire manufacturing process, ensuring the precision and quality of the final product. The journey begins with computer-aided design software, where engineers and designers create digital models of the cup body, lid, and handle. This software enables precise measurements, simulations, and iterations, ensuring optimal design and functionality. Well, if you want it to be perfect, you have to start from here. The focus is to make a practical design as aesthetic and functional. Here, the cup shape and size are designed with the lid and handle. There's a focus on how it can be comfortably carried. There are also measurements for the material thickness and manufacturing feasibility. Much work is done to keep your tea warm and juice cold for something so small. Once the design is finalized, the next step is crafting the molds from durable materials. Two primary methods are used. Computer numerical control machining employs high-precision cutting tools to remove material and create the mold. This process offers exceptional accuracy and speed as well as 3D printing to build the mold layer by layer, allowing for complex geometries and rapid prototyping. Handling the tooling and mold making ensures efficient production, reduced waste, and enhanced product performance. Tooling and mold making form the foundation of insulated cup manufacturing, setting the stage for a successful production process. Manufacturers can create high-quality molds that produce exceptional insulated cups by leveraging CAD design, CNC machining, and 3D printing. Away from the design, what's used to manufacture these cups? What's the function of the materials used? Let's delve into that. While design is undoubtedly essential when creating an insulated cup, it's important to remember that without the right materials, even the best design can fall short. Effectively, insulated cups rely on a delicate balance between insulation, durability, and aesthetic appeal. Insulation keeps beverages at the desired temperature, durability ensures the cup withstands wear and tear, and aesthetics create an enjoyable user experience. You may be drawn to a cup for its design, but it's the combination of performance and durability that encourages repeat purchases. Manufacturers use specific materials to achieve these qualities. Stainless steel and plastic form the inner and outer shells of many insulated cups, providing both corrosion resistance and longevity. Insulation materials like foam or vacuum seals are crucial for thermal regulation, while plastics or silicone used for the lid and handle ensure comfort and a secure grip. A popular choice for constructing these cups is SUS-304 stainless steel, also known as 188 food grade stainless steel. It is highly regarded for its corrosion resistance, durability, and ability to withstand a wide range of temperatures. 
from minus 196 to 800 degrees Celsius. This material is favored in various industries, including food equipment and chemical applications. Due to its composition, 18% chromium, 8% nickel, and minimal carbon content, these properties make SUS-304 ideal for insulated cups, providing both formability and weldability. Through innovative material selection and advanced manufacturing techniques, companies can produce insulated cups that excel in functionality, comfort, and visual appeal. Air gaps between the inner and outer layers enhance temperature control, often supported by vacuum insulation. These cups deliver on both performance and design by optimizing material choices, ensuring a well-rounded user experience. So how's the air gap dealt with? What materials are used? Keep watching to find out. Foam initially arrives at the factory in the liquid form of chemical balls. These balls are placed jointly, generating a heat-generating chemical reaction. Then this liquid mixture is slightly heated up to 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. After completion of the reaction, the mixture is slightly cooled down and the liquid foam is the result. Foam between the inner and outer walls is an insulator. Extending temperature retention time eliminates temperature change by creating an airless space between the inner and outer stainless steel walls. After the liquid foam, the outer cap is formed. It can be made from plastic or primarily from stainless steel. If the outer cap is made of plastic, it is produced by the process of blow molding. In this process, small plastic resin pellets are heated and forcefully blown into a mold in the desired shape. If the outer cap is produced using stainless steel, it is pounded into shape from a particular sheet of stainless steel. The produced outer cap is fitted with its inner liner during the assembly line process. It is a kind of glass filter made outside the factory, or a stainless steel filter, pounded from a sheet of stainless steel, is placed inside the outer cup. Then, the insulation is added to it. For a cold insulated bottle, foam in a liquid form is sprayed into the space between the cups and then is allowed to harden. And for a hot insulated bottle, a large vacuuming machine sucks the air from the space between the two cups being used. Next, a silicone coating is sprayed on the cups, holding them together as a single unit, and then the steel bottles are painted. When it comes to insulated cups, the lid is often the unsung hero. Unlike the bottle, which is typically made from stainless steel, the lid is usually crafted from plastic, and that's where injection molding comes in. But did you know that some lids are actually a dynamic duo? They're made from plastic inside and wrapped in stainless steel on the outside. Talk about a power couple. This stainless steel exterior is achieved by pressing a sheet of steel onto the injection molded plastic. Well, there are options for an all stainless steel top too. Once the insulated cups and lids are ready, they're assembled, boxed, and packed into cartons for shipment. It's like a precision dance where every step ensures your insulated cup arrives safely and ready for action. So how's the quality tested before distribution? Have you ever wondered how insulated cups keep water scorching hot for 12 hours or icy cold for 24? Well, stick around and find out. After the completion of the insulation process, these cups are passed through a quality inspection and then wrapped and prepared for shipping. Like the cups, even their lids are also blow molded. Once the vacuum insulation is created, the cups undergo their first test, which is a temperature test. During this test, hot air is blown into each cup. If the outside of the cup stays cool, that means the heat from the hot air is not transferred out, and the cup is vacuum insulated. On the contrary, if the cup becomes hot, there's something wrong with the vacuum insulation, and that cup will be pulled from the line. After the temperature test, the cups are sent into a wash station to remove the lubricating oil and dust from the forming process and then dried thoroughly. Next, the exterior of the cup is carefully polished and cleaned. After the polishing process, there will be a second temperature test. Afterward, the outer part of the cup is coated and baked to dry the coating. Each cup is inspected thoroughly, including a third time temperature test, appearance inspection, and leakage test and then placed in an individual bag for assembly. So here's the curious case. I'm sure you've wondered why they keep our liquid at the required temperature. Well, it's not magic, it's science. There are three main heat transmission methods. Radiation, which is thought of as heat rays, 
convection, which is the heat transfer through liquids, and conduction, which is just the natural heat everything loses to its environment. So here's the deal. The vacuum insulated cup is designed to thwart these heat transfer methods using the silver white interior surface that reflects radiation, keeping heat from escaping. The vacuum layer between the double layer stainless steel walls blocks heat transfer. And the little lid, our clever design, plays its part by preventing heat loss through convection. Oh wait, there's more. Copper plating on the inner tank takes heat preservation to the next level. It's like adding superpowers to your insulated cup. When it comes to keeping your beverages at the desired temperature for an extended period, insulated cups are a game changer. These cups are designed with a double wall construction that creates a vacuum between the inner and outer layers. This vacuum acts as a barrier, preventing heat transfer from the outside environment to the liquid inside the cup or vice versa. The materials used in insulated cups such as stainless steel or BPA-free plastic further enhance their insulating properties. This scientific principle ensures that your hot drinks stay hot and your cold beverages remain refreshingly chilled, giving you the perfect sipping experience every time. Insulated cups offer numerous benefits beyond just temperature control. Unlike regular cups, insulated cups preserve the temperature of your drinks. Whether you prefer a steaming cup of coffee in the morning or an ice cold smoothie during the day, an insulated cup will keep your beverages at the desired temperature for hours. Insulated cups are incredibly versatile, accommodating a wide range of beverages. From hot coffee to iced tea and even carbonated drinks, these cups can handle it all without compromising the temperature or taste. These cups are built to withstand the demands of everyday life. They are typically made from these high-quality materials to resist breakage, corrosion, and leakage. This durability ensures that your cup will last for years, saving you long-term money. So how do you think these insulated cups help your daily life? Let's hear your thoughts in the comments section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating and fascinating content. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.